Hey everyone, it's Brenda with Stampin' Up! here. I hope you all had a very happy Thanksgiving if you're here in the United States and that if you traveled that you made it home safely. Uh, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator on the North Shore of New Orleans. Uh, my shop is brendafertitas.stampinup.net and here is my email address if you need to make contact with me. Um, today I have my unboxing video to show you for the upcoming mini catalog and uh, it is a little delayed because it didn't come before I left to go for my holiday break. So I am just getting around to um, getting these out of the box and showing you what I bought. So first uh, what I wanted to show you is the uh, items that are already out and then I will get into the mini catalog. I didn't order a lot and you know what let me tell you also that Stampin' Up! seems to be getting away from the catalogs and the new mini catalog that's coming out is very thin it doesn't seem like it has a whole lot in it it really doesn't have a lot in it um, but there are a lot of online exclusives out as well um, I did voice my opinion to Stampin' Up. I personally like the catalogs. Um, online exclusives I forget about and they're, I find online is a little harder to find what you're looking for. Um, so if you also love the catalogs, be sure to voice that to Stampin' Up because it's important for them to know what customers are thinking and what they like and don't like. So I just wanted to mention that. Um, so don't be surprised when you get your catalog that is really doesn't have a whole lot in it. It's got it's got a lot. Don't get me wrong, but it compared to the one that we have right now, there's there's not very many stamp sets and things in it. So anyway, let's just get started here and showing you what I bought. Okay, so this is the three color glimmer paper. I already have this. I'm not going to take it out. This is, um, I you've seen me use it. Um, this is an online exclusive. Um, it is Highland Heather, Highland Heather Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock. I also bought, if you, if you follow my channel, you already knew that I was buying all this glimmer paper because I really, really like it. And I wanted to get more of all of them. So um, we also have the Berry Burst Old Olive in White. This only comes in three um, three sheets, of, or one sheet of each. So that's why I ordered two packs of these. So I wanted more of that. And then um, this I have not ordered before. This is the In Colors 2024-2026 uh, In Color Glimmer Paper, which is in the annual catalog. And I had not bought this before. So this is the Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, Shy Shamrock, and Summer Splash. And so I will show you those since I have not uh, shown you them before. All right, so this must be the Peach Pie. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize there's only one sheet of each. Okay, uh, Peach Pie. Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, those look kind of, those look almost identical on camera, but they are not. This one is much darker. Um, I don't know why my camera doesn't pick up. There we go. Look at, okay, the angle. Okay, so now you can kind of see the difference. All right. Let me put that one at an angle as well. Okay. And then we've got the... Oh, these just, the colors just don't pick up on camera very well. This is the Shy Shamrock, I think. And this is the Summer Splash. But they don't look the same on camera. Um, but they are pretty. Okay. So you only get one sheet of each of that. And I didn't realize that. I probably would have ordered two packs of that as well. But we'll see how much I use. Another online exclusive I bought is the one and three quarter inch Circle Punch. Um, I think that the punches are kind of nice to have, and, um, I don't know how long they'll stick around, so I did buy that, okay. This, I think, does fit perfectly with this naughty and nice, um, stamp right here. 
and maybe some others. I didn't really go through my stamps to see what else it fits, but um, it probably does fit a few other stamp sets. <clears throat> also from the annual catalog, I decided to get this small my small business stamp set um, because I think that would be nice for some thank you cards. All right, okay, so let's get into the mini catalog and celebration items, okay? So um, I keep feeling like, I oh, I do have a hair. I kept feeling like I have a hair on my hand and I'm like, whew, okay. Um, let's see, I'll show you stamp sets and dies first and then a couple embellishments and then I will show you the paper and then the celebration item. So the first stamp set I'm gonna show you is called Lifelong Friends. This is a cling mount stamp set. And I thought that that was really cute because I have a best friend <clears throat> that I've been friends with like all my life. We grew up as sisters. And then I've got two best friends from high school as well. So I really like these images. I think that's kind of cute. Like I said, cling stamp set. All right, so then the other ones I got are bundles. Okay, this one is Delightful Wishes. All right, this is a two and three, uh, two and three uh, step stamping. So um, the flowers are two step and you can put that on the uh, stems here. And that does come with dies. Let's just open these up here and see what we get. Okay, so we get the dies for some uh, to make some flowers, but this is why I kind of wanted it. So this is, it, it will, cut out this um, wishing or you can cut it out um, without stamping okay so this is going to be really intricate which will be a real pain to use but I like this idea I like that it cuts out the stamped image and then there's a stem here I really like this little um, sentiment stamp uh, die as well and so um, and then, of course, this cuts out the flowers. All right. So there's that bundle. We have birthday celebration. Um, these also do have, uh, let me tell you, these are part of a uh, suite as well. So there's paper that matches this. I did not buy the paper that goes with this. I did, well, I did buy one. Um, they have a vellum that I'm going to show you that does go with this. Um, the paper is a lot of yellow and I'm not really big yellow fan, so I didn't buy the DSP, but I did buy the vellum and I will show you that in a minute. Uh, birthday celebration, same thing. It does have some paper that I did not buy, but I thought this was pretty and I did buy the dies. So I did get the whole bundle and... So these are the dies, and this is the main reason I bought them was for the numbers. So we've got one through uh, zero through nine, and then we've got this little um, uh, banner here, these little banners, and uh, yeah. So this is this is going to be nice. Okay. The next one is memorable blooms. A lot of flowers. Um, that's another thing that I expressed to Stampin' Up. They just put, keep putting out tons of flowers. And um, I did like this, though. It kind of reminds me of the... Oh, was it artistically inked? No, not artistically inked. Um, there was another one that was a floral that was kind of similar to this that I really loved. That's the main reason I bought that one. Um, this is a clean set. And I did get the bundle. And 
And here is what we get with this. Okay, so these cut out the images, the, the stamped images. And look at this. This is kind of like octagon. I think these were really cute. So you have this one that cuts out the inside with dots. And then the outside has this cute little pattern. I don't know if you can see that. I think that is going to be kind of pretty. And then this one has the floral image. All right. So that's kind of nice. Okay. And then the other bundle that I got is Beautiful Butterflies. This one, I was a little disappointed to, to find more butterflies. We've got butterflies out already. Um, but wait to see how big this is. Um, so I decided to get it anyway. So this is a huge butterfly. Look how big that is. Um, and then wait till you see what it comes with. So this bundle not only has dies, but it also has a 3d embossing folder. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's not a 3d. I thought it was a 3d, but it doesn't say 3d. So let's just check it out. We'll find out. Oh, it's a hybrid, hybrid embossing folder. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say 3D, but this is definitely a 3D embossing folder. It's thick. But I'm not sure why they left the 3D off of that. Um, okay, so look how cool this is. Let me get this pad here because you can see this. Look how pretty, look at the detail on that. Isn't that cool? And so you're going to be able to blind the dye up on that and emboss and cut a butterfly at the same time. Wait till you see these dyes. Look at that huge butterfly. <laughs> huge! Let me get my handy ruler here. Look at this. It's almost five inches. If you go from the widest, it's a um, little over four and a half inches wide. So that's a pretty big butterfly. All right, and then this is the one that is the hybrid. And so these, not really sure if that's the whole, I guess it's this one, should fit in there, just like that. And so you can cut and emboss at the same time. Isn't that cool? All right. So that is Beautiful Butterflies. And um, they've got some nice sentiment dies here as well. But this huge butterfly, that's just crazy how big that is. All right, so now um, I can get into the paper that I bought. Actually, let me show you the embellishments first. Um, I'm a sucker for some of this stuff, and then I don't even use it. These are um, tiny bee trinkets, and I thought these would really be cute with some of these floral, um, floral stamp sets. You don't get very many. I guess you get 40. It doesn't seem like there's very many in there, but um, look at these cute little bees. Let's see if I can get them. I see that. Come on, focus. Let me see. Maybe you can see that. It's just a tiny little thing. Isn't it cute? Tiny, tiny, tiny little bees. Um, I guess we're going to have to use a glue dot and uh, crumble it up into a little ball in order to put these on um, or use glue. All right, so that's that. Then there is Itty Bitty Boca Mix. And this, I like I said, I'm a sucker for these. I really want them, and then I never end up making shaker cards because they're such a pain. But look how pretty this is. Oh, my gosh. Look how cute. I love those. They're kind of more eye candy for me, I think, than um, actually being useful, which is ridiculous. But anyway, maybe I'll get around to doing 
some more shaker cards. I, I need to get better at it. I always get way too much static and uh, they just don't work very well for me. And this one, this is, this is what I'm excited about. Um, I haven't opened it yet. Um, but this is a gold open weave trim. All right. And it reminds me in the catalog um, of my silver, this uh, metallic mesh that I absolutely love. Um, if you've seen me use this, you probably had it. Let me get this. Okay. Um, I love this. And I really wish I would have bought a bunch of it when they went, uh, when they clearanced it. But it didn't. But this looks similar to that. So I was really excited to see it. And let's just check it out and see if it's the same. It, they didn't call it the same thing. But it does look, looks the same to me. Got to get that off. Okay. Oh, now they got a piece of tape on there. All right, come on now. Oh, yeah, it's definitely um, kind of the same thing, but it's gold. I love it. So if you really like the silver metallic mesh ribbon, you're going to like this gold one. Okay, so you can see the difference. Let's see if I can bring that up. Okay, so it's almost the exact same thing, but it's gold instead of silver. Um, and this is, like I said, called Open Weave Trim. Okay. Um, so that is very exciting. Very exciting. Okay, now we'll do the paper. The first one I'm going to show you goes with the butterflies, the beautiful butterflies. This is part of the suite. Um, and I think that the little, the Boca, the itty bitty Boca mix goes with this. And this is, um, the paper is beautiful Boca. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, um, forgive me. I don't, I don't always pronounce things correctly, but you know what it is. Um, anyway, this is really pretty paper. All right. So here is. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, so we have Balmy Blue, Berry Burst, Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight, and Fresh Freesia. Okay, so look at how pretty this is. Okay, so you get 48 sheets. So that's, I think, six, eight sheets of each. So we have that, and then the spots on the back. This is not very noticeable on camera. Um, hopefully you can see that. It's just got some little dots. It's real pretty. It kind of reminds me of watercolor. So there's the first one. That was Berry Burst. This is the Fresh Freesia. Okay. And then on the back of that is same thing. Kind of a watercolory. This is not looking very colorful on camera. And I apologize for that. I'm not really sure why. Um, let me see if I can adjust my light a little bit. I get, I don't know if that's going to help so that you can see the colors a little bit better. I think that helps a little bit. All right. Then we've got the Calypso Coral one. And this one you can kind of see a little bit better because it's darker. Okay. Then we have Daffodil Delight. And this one on the back. And then this one is a mixture. Okay. And this one on the back. And then we have the balmy blue. So I really like that. I like these kind of um, watercolory backgrounds. So I really like this paper. All right, so that's that. And the only other uh, DSP that I bought, oh no, not a DSP. It's the vellum that I told you about, the floral gingham vellum. 
And this is Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lolly, Old Olive, Pool Party, and White. And that goes along with the... Uh, delightful Wishes stamp set. Um, this comes in the suite if you buy the suite. Like I said, I did not buy the DSP that goes with it. But you can imagine once you see this um, what the DSP may be like because the DSP is very flowery, um, but it's mostly yellows. And like I said, I don't really do a whole lot of yellow, but I do like this vellum. I think it's really pretty. Okay, so first we have... Let me get a piece of white paper so that you can see this. Okay, so here's the first one. Look how pretty that is. Like I said, lots of yellow flowers. Okay, you get two of those. And then we have this balmy blue with the little yellow flowers. Look how cute that is. I really like that. That's really pretty. And then even better is Balmy Blue Gingham. I really like that one. I like Gingham. I, I don't know why. I've just always liked Gingham. I guess it's a country look. Being from Iowa, maybe. So that is the uh, floral and gingham vellum, okay? Now I will show you what I got for the celebration. These are items that are free with every $60 worth of purchases. Um, so that has gone up $10 from last year. It used to be $50, now it's $60 in products. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is this I'm very excited about. Um, so if you loved this crinkle seam binding ribbon that used to be out, this is all I've got left of it. And I, this is another one I really wish I would have stocked up on because I loved this ribbon. Um, it was white crinkle ribbon and um so they came out with a fresh freesia this is free with a 60 dollar purchase and i think that um it's the same exact thing except for it's wider hopefully i can get this oh my gosh Whew. i can't get this plastic off I think somebody gave me a tip at one point on a, on a video comment, and I don't remember what it was. My whole concern is tearing the, um, poking the ribbon. So, okay, so here is this. How pretty is this? Uh, so this is um, three-eighths of an inch. Okay, I don't know if you can really see that well. Yeah. So like I said, it's very similar um, to this white crinkle ribbon that we had, but it's um, a lot wider, three-eighths of an inch. And it is, like I said, free, fresh freesia. So this is free with a $60 purchase during celebration. The next item I got is the purple adhesive backed sequins. And I will take the paper off of this so that you can see it without the glare. All right, so these are, this. well, it still has some glare, but this is the sequins. These are free with a $60 purchase as well. This, it does not say what purples there are, which I don't understand why. I think this is Berry Burst and Fresh Freesia maybe and Pretty in Pink and White. Or it may be Highland Heather and Fresh Freesia. That's probably what it is. Berry Burst, Highland Heather, and um, Fresh Freesia. Um, I, if I had my printouts handy, I would look, and I, but I don't have that. So 
I think it says in the celebration brochure what colors they are. The next thing I got for free is this Starstruck embossing folder. This is definitely not a 3D embossing folder. It is a regular one, but it's cute. Okay. So that is free with a $60 purchase. Okay. And then the other one is Friendly Seagulls stamp set. This is photopolymer. I thought this was really cute because we love to go to the beach and I love watching the seagulls. I think it's so cute that they got the little french fries and some seashells, some fish, and uh, seagulls flying. Look at this little one with the french fries in his mouth. Isn't that cute? So that is also free with a $60 purchase. And I have one more thing to show you, and I'm going to pause real quick because I can't remember whether this is a $60 purchase or a $120 purchase. I'm pretty sure it's $60, but let me just check real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I was right. $60 purchase. This is a um, DSP pack, 12 by 12 This is called Bloom Impressions, and it is floral again but it's pretty. So let me just get this out. And this is the last thing that I have in my order to show you. Okay, so this is the paper. Um, it is Azure Afternoon, Blackberry Bliss, Blueberry Bushel, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Peach, pie, petunia pop, pumpkin pie, and shy shamrock. Okay, so that is one side, and then the other side is this uh, shy shamrock, I believe, sort of a cloudy look. Okay, then we have purple on the back of that. Okay. And we have more daffodil. And then the back is more of a calypso coral look. Hopefully this color is coming through okay. And then we have this one. And the back is this one. This is like, um, I don't know, pool party maybe. And then we have this one. Oh, wait, there's two more. Okay, so we have this pink one. And um, like I said, um, once you get the catalog, you'll be able to see it a little better. I just, for some reason, this camera just does not pick up the colors as well as I would like them to. And this is the last sheet. This one's really pretty. And then it's got the blue on the back. I love the blue. This would make a great cloud background. And like I said, that is um, free with a $60 purchase. And that was called Bloom Impressions. So we get, um, so I got all, all five of these items free. And um, there's a few other items in there. There's a couple items that are $120 um, instead of uh, $60, but that's all I got. So um, the other thing I wanted to mention real quick, um, while I was in Texas, as I mentioned in a previous video, I did hit a couple mom and pop scrapbook shops. And I did videotape them, but they're very small shops, so... The videos ended up being very, very short. They're only like uh, four minutes long, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to film what I bought at each shop and slice them together with the shop video. And then, so I will have two videos to show you and they'll be coming out maybe next week or so. Um, and um, that's it. Um, I'll be showing you the things that I got and hopefully, oh, and I'm going to have a giveaway on one of them too, because I bought a few things to give away. So, 
uh, napkins. She had some really cool napkins. So anyway, that is it for today. That was my unboxing and uh, pre-order for the new upcoming mini catalog. Anyway, that is it for today. Have a great day and God bless. Bye-bye.